Oh, oh. wow! Ooze. How's it going? Face Sensei here, back with another video, and today is the day. I am so excited. I got my footage for the entire fight. Obviously, I'm excited to upload this, but I'm very excited because I never got a chance to see the second round. Footage of the recording wasn't the whole fight. This time around, they have commentators, so they have people speaking over it, so I'm going to try to lower the volume, but yeah, enjoy. Once again, refereeing this bout. Let's send it Same venue as last time. However, this is a kickboxing fight. So, the rules are slightly different than MMA. Three, two minute rounds, an amateur kickboxing bout in the 170 pound welterweight division. This bout is proudly presented to you by C.W. Hemp. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Alan Lau. It's three two minute rounds instead of three three minute rounds. And we wear 12 ounce boxing gloves and we have some shin guards. There's no takedowns, there's no grappling. There's some clinching around, like grabbing a leg, but you're not allowed to move your opponent around with that clinch. Or same thing with like the Muay Thai clinch when you're clinching their head. You can only clinch to strike. You can't just clinch and hold and take down and so forth. You can sweep them with the base leg, but you have to use your shin. Like you cannot use your ankle um, or your instep. You have to use the shin to do takedowns. So there's little refined rules. To be honest, I wasn't too familiar with them. So I just play, my game plan was just to go out there and kick and punch as hard as I could. Try to counter, move, be smart, and have some fun. They spell my name wrong every time. I S A I H. I don't. I'm not, it's funny thing is I've never I've seen it misspelled many times, but I've never seen it misspelled this way. But they get it right. They fix it eventually. I'm versing Logan right here, Duncan the Highlander Smith. This kid is literally Wolverine, man of steel. Here we go. Ooh, he came out heavy. It's pretty impressive, my boxing here. This is my first time doing a full contact kickboxing match. He came out aggressive, so I kind of matched him. And I was kind of like, whoa, okay, let's go with that a little bit. Uh, even though we're in a fight, it's just the pace was really high in the very beginning. It was very aggressive. It could go anyway. Uh, the ref had stopped us in the beginning because we were leaning too much um, with the head. We kind of both were doing it. Not really sure why. It was just one of those things to try, try to clinch up. But I felt like I was, I was doing pretty well. I felt a little rushed in the beginning. A little spinning back kick. I didn't land it flush because he had a counter kick me at the same time. So it wasn't anything like super devastating. You can see us clinching there. Tough, tough, gritty fighting out of Duncan. Duncan moved pretty well. For a tall, a big guy, he was light in his feet. Nice liver shots. Yeah, this is the this is the things I really want to improve on. I was a little too wild. Like I was rushing my shots. I should have took my time and picked my shots. My balance was a little off in the very beginning. My timing, my distance, because the speed and everything was heightened. But I, I think at this point I felt pretty good. I started to loosen up a little bit, my head movement, trying to figure out my distance, play a little bit, but then again off a little bit there. Duncan can kick very hard. His roundhouse kick is very strong. Yeah, I should have went down to the leg there. Oh, but I got a knee in there. I got some body shots in. He looks composed. He's got his hands up. And then you can see my face and me shake my head. I was going into the head. But sometimes in boxing, you like to get in clinch, close to the clinch to do body shots to come to the head. So, I mean, if we didn't have our exchange in the beginning, I'm assuming it would have been fine. So it's kind of a bad habit. Ah, uh, referee Kevin McDonald. Always something good coming out of him. I was definitely looking to punch more, more to kick. I really enjoy the boxing. Again, see, I did the spinning back kick, and he caught my other leg at the last moment, so it kind of took my timing off. So it wasn't flush. He came out heavy here. But I finished it pretty strong. So it was a pretty good exchange. Honestly, the first round, you can see me say my time. The first round, I didn't really know. I felt like it was pretty even. I felt like I, le I landed the cleaner punches at times, even though he had really good spots and really good flurries. <laughs> they forgot my stool. My corner forgot my stool. So, yeah. No sitting for the first round. But it was all good. It felt really different, obviously, but the kickboxing rather than the MMA because there wasn't the clinch, the exhaust from the clinch. 
And I had, my last two fights ended in the first round. So I was sitting on the stool. Well, actually, I wasn't sitting on the stool, but I was resting and relaxing and able to talk with um, my father. And he kept telling me to low kick, low kick, low kick. Again, I was just looking to really box in this. Because I was practicing a lot, and I've been watching a lot of videos, and I wanted to, you know, I've been watching boxing for a long time. I never boxed before, and I really enjoy the art of boxing. So I just was really stuck on that. But I wanted to find some good kicks to land, but I wasn't trying to put it together. Way, here we go. I was gassed. My cardio was not where it should have been either. Is going right to the so here's the infamous the second round. No time Ooh. Yeah, that's when I got low kicked. Right between the legs. Obviously you know, incidental. Was not on purpose. But I walked right into a roundhouse kick. And you could hear it. Smack the cup. But I was like, I'm good. I didn't want to slow down or like lose my groove. So I said, let's just do it. I'm good. I'm good. Honestly, I didn't mind the breather, to be honest. Back to the center of the ring, both fighters go. Isaiah dancing. Some front leg kicks on my toes. You can tell he's he's picking his shots. He's not just wasting time. Trying to find my distance. Duncan looking determined. Gloves up. Ready. I'm trying to use my lead leg side kick. I wasn't placing it very well. To be honest, he kicks hard. By Duncan. My boxing boom soon. So you can tell. Ha! I was really trying to find his liver. I was I'm punching a little too high. You have to catch it perfectly. And typically a body shot is more of a light kick. I knew I threw some. Typically a liver shot or a body shot is most effective when they don't see it coming. When they can kind of clinch for it, they're going to absorb it. When they don't see it coming, though, that's when it's really effective. I was chasing it, so it wasn't as effective as I wanted it to be. There he is bullying me against the cage. But I covered pretty well. Boom, finally let a little shot there. So I was trying to just defend for the most part. And then pick a couple clean shots. There's a low kick. Stick and move, stick and move. Getting a little sloppy there. It's right under the rib cage. A left hand to the ribs. Right up underneath the rib cage. See, a lot of this is just pretty sloppy exchanges, to be honest. Covering well. Oh, that's when I started thinking about the hook kick, the spinning kick. I started thinking about it. So where can I find it? Where can I find it? Bad footwork here. I'm covering. Oh, nice little hook there. Bam. So yeah, I try to have my turn to get clear, more definitive shots. I would defend, but I should have with my head moving. But I, when I was covering, but I didn't really move my feet. Moving a lot slower than the first round, but they're still waiting for their shots. Not much time left in this second round. Boom. There we go. Nice. So I finished off the round well. Second round was pretty good. A little tired. <laughs> Sticking my tongue out. I was having a good time at this point. At this point, it was getting pretty fun. The crowd was getting into it. I didn't feel anything like super hurt at all. So I was enjoying it. I was just really tired. I was gassed. In the second round, my father comes up to me and he's, um, he's like, you got to throw the kick. And I was like, dad, my cardio is not at this level. Like, it's not ready. And he starts joking. I was, it felt good to be able to be light and joke around in the, in the corner. And I was asking him, I said, how my boxing look? And my hands look good? Because obviously my dad was an amateur boxer. And that's where my boxing influence and the rest of myself. But really heavily my boxing influence comes from. Standing room only here at the Armory inside the Radisson Hotel in Manchester. <laughs> Combat Zone 61. Resurrection going on tonight. A bunch of amateur kickboxing matches, then some amateur MMA, and then some professional... Third and final. And there's my dad telling me again, the low kick. All right, here we go. Round Roundhouse three, kick. Duncan Smith, Isaiah Ocasio. Sorry, coach. I knew I should throw more. Match. Here we go. Fighters to the center of the ring. He had us come in at the end and bow and handshake and before we begin. And he came out strong. I expected him to come out strong third round because I felt like I had, I was winning the fight on the scorecards. Yeah, he's got three minutes. He's got to get everything he's got in this round. So I felt more comfortable. As you can see, I start closing the gap. My hands start dropping. But that's just a bait. I'm trying to bait. It's part of being lazy, but I'm, I'm really trying to bait. Oh, landed some good shots there, but I wanted to keep moving. And I didn't go back down to the leg. Those kickboxes out there, aspiring. When you go up top, you finish down low. When you go down low, you finish up top. It's just basic. 
You don't need to, you don't need to Perfect example. Landed a nice clean counter right hand. I understand you want to knock out. So I was relaxed. Nice little clean jab. One wrong move and you can get knocked out yourself. So if I go back there, you can see since I was since I was more relaxed, you can see boom, I land a counter. So I wasn't rushing it. I was letting the strikes come to me at this point in the third round. Same thing with my jab, but see I'm not rushing the strike. Nice and relaxed. Right here is when I thought about the hook kick. Now I'm trying to bait him in. Throw it and... Oh! I was so excited about this one. Never landed this kick. But I turned around and I saw him and he's already coming at me. But let's go back to the hook kick for a second. So right here is when I thought about it. I'm trying to... Now I'm trying to... I've been trying to do it since the second round before when you saw me kind of hesitate and spin. But now I'm trying to bait him in and I can hear his... Actually his corner say, switch kick, switch kick. Because my hands were down. So I'm thinking if I can just get him time that switch kick or if he you know steps in and leans that front leg out i can probably get away with the spinning hook kick so i really baited it dropped my hands down kind of sticking my head out and then you can see exactly what i mean by that boom there it is and then the late bam oh, yeah. land. he actually kicked out my bottom leg a little bit so it didn't hit up full man he took it right back up i turn around and go what you can see when i cover i'm a little shocked for a second but then I got back into it. I was able to cover, pick my shots and move, stick and move. Tang, little Tang Fu there. Courtesy of Coach Tang. Slide out, roundhouse kick. Thank you, Coach, for all the footwork help and so forth. Angles, I wish I did more. I will do it next time. I'm going to keep improving and getting better. So I can show all the stuff that I really know I can do. I think he's in zombie mode right now. You, you know what, though? At this point, he's really got nothing to lose, so why not go out strong and say you took it like Big a Big swing and a miss. See, you can tell him a little tired here. Yeah, Isaiah's just full defense right now. Just Boom, trying to bait run. him in again. So I'm trying to bait and then find well, my spots. That's a 10 second clapper. Let's see if there's anything exciting. <laughs> and then last 10 seconds. seconds. Swinging, and I was just missing. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Really end. sloppy at the end. Oh, we are tired. Match. And then we embrace. Fantastic. He's a tank. I had to do some, caught some good body shots. And obviously the head kick. He took it, bounced right off the canvas, came right back up and like, what's up, Sensei? And he came right back at me. <laughs> and this is my dad. The leg kick was there the whole time. I go, sorry, sir. But no, he was praising me. Great job. You know, kickboxing is very much our strength in our, in our school, in our system. It's my father's strength to be able to put those strikes together. Obviously with, with elbows and knees and everything else too. But, so it's really cool to be able to kickbox and represent um, the school and, and my father and so forth. And his strengths and his boxing and be able to box well. I was talking to him about his head. My heel was killing me. It was bruised. Actually, still hurts now. It's been weeks, but it's been. I got like a bone bruise, I believe. It was a couple weeks, and it was still killing me. But I felt good. I felt really good. There wasn't. I didn't have any pain or anything. You know, a little mild headache. That's just normal from blocking, taking shots. But what am I rubbing my belly? What am I doing there? I don't know what's going on. I was gassed, though. At this point, to be honest, I did not know who won. I was just, like I said, I don't really remember the fight. And I thought I had the better exchange, so I thought, I said, I think I did it better, enough to win. But with decisions, you just don't know. Because I knew I was backing up a lot. I knew I was moving a lot away. I felt like he had the center of the, the ring more. I don't remember. That's what I felt like. So I said, it could go either way. I mean, I was content with the fight, how it went. But... That's why I look at the red. You see me look at my thing and go, oh, red corner. I said, oh, man. It was. I said, okay. So it was what I thought. But great guy, Duncan. Great, great guy. We're going to be meeting up soon, actually, this weekend, I believe, in order to, um, or the weekend after, to do some training and record a video. And stuff. He's actually very, for an amateur, his, he's also very skilled as well. He has a traditional background, just like me. So he's actually very skilled. So yeah, that's it. That's my third cage fight. I'm excited. I should be fighting in either June or later in the fall like the end of the summer maybe like august probably gonna do another kickboxing fight because of my schedule m and i will be moving in september 
So once we move, I'll be able to adjust my schedule a little bit. My commute is very long. So once I adjust my schedule, then I can put together a camp because I want to cut down to 155 if I'm going to do MMA again so I can work on my wrestling and my jiu-jitsu and actually the MMA game, not just jiu-jitsu and wrestling by itself, but the MMA game. And I need to get myself to an MMA gym and get myself with MMA coaches if I'm really going to pursue that. So I need to make sure that I'm doing that the right way and not just trying to rely on my striking and my knockout power or something, you know, whatever it may be. Cut the weight do it right and work on all facets of the game and go back in there but in the meantime i'm gonna have a lot of fun in uploading sick kickboxing content videos put on great matches look for head kicks and knockouts and so forth and try to put on a great show for you guys and then keep this content going um, i'll be going to the face house in a couple weeks because of the guys avery bradley video coming up working with shane Faison from fight tips soon a lot of things coming up i'm testing for my fifth degree next is it friday or the friday after so much going on. Leave a like in the video and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Oos.